Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program is a circuit board profit program. And the program says that a, co a company sells circuit, circuit boards at a 40% profit. So if you know the retail price of a circuit board, you can calculate its profit with the following formula. Profit is going to be equal to the retail price times 0 0.4. Now, 0 0.4 is um, 40%. And basically 40 divided by 100, that's, that's 40%. 40 divided by 100 gives you 0 0.4. And that's that's why they got this that's where they got the 0 0.4 from so if we're 60 percent it's going to be 60 divided by 100 that's going to be 0 0.6 and just read the mul multiplication sign as off so 40 percent off the retail price and that's going to give you the profit and the program wants us to display that and I think it wants us to, yeah, it wants us to ask the user for the retail price and we're going to use that information to find the profits. So um, I'll use the G option pane for this one. Um, I'll mix, just to mix, just to mix it up. Okay, so I'll create the class. Okay, so we're going to declare some variables. Okay, so since we're going to be using the J option pane to for output and input, I'm going to import it to tell the program where it's found. So import um, javax.swing.j option pane. So now we have access to it, so we can use it. So the first thing we do is we're going to ask the user for the retail price of the product. I think it says, I write the program that asks the user for the retail price. Okay, so to do that, we're going to use Joption pane. Let's say Joption pane dot show input dialog. And the message we want to tell the user is please enter the retail price of the product and as oh the Joption pane always returns a string so we are going to receive that um, in a string so string user output string or user string output is going to be called no it's going to be called to hold the whole of this Okay, so now the user has typed in something and it's, it's stored in a string. Now because it's a string and we can't use strings in calculations, so, I mean in math calculations. We can, but, but you know, in, in, the, in a different way. But we, we need it to be an, in an integer um, or a double so we can use it in calculations. So what we're going to do is convert whatever the user typed in, user output string, to a double. Um, in this case, yeah, to a double. So to do that, you use Du um, double dot next sorry sorry double dot parse double and what we are going to convert is going to be user output string and then once we do that we need to store whatever has been converted converted into a double into another variable into another double variable and we need to declare that variable and that variable is going to be double retail price and actually let me, let me just make it user user retail price so it makes makes sense a bit so once we convert it into a double we need to store it and store it in user retail price so now we have the user re retail price Okay, so now we need to find out the profit using the, um, from the profit from the user retail price, and to do that, we you said it was forty percent, right? Um, I don't really have to do this, but I'm going to store the percentages since it's fixed. It can change, but 
but I'm going to store it in a final, um, in a constant, a final variable, a constant. So I'm going to declare that and say final, and it's going to be a double, final double, and it's going to be um, company in caps. I'm just going to, going to change it to profit, uh, profit percentage. Is going to be equal to 0 0.4 this value 40 percent 0 0.4 40 percent okay so so to find the the profits it's going to be 40 percent which is profit percentage off remember remember so the, the multi multiplication sign which is the asterisk you can you can read it as off so profit percentage which is 40 percent off the user retail price and we're going to end up storing that in profit which we haven't declared we need a variable to store that so it's going to be double um company profit company profit and we're going to store the profit in company profit and now that we have that we can go ahead and display it using the geoption pane geoption's geoption pane's um, message dialog so geoption pane dot show message dialog and two arguments first argument is going to be now to center the dialog box on the screen and the second one is going to be the message we want to display so it's we're going to say profit uh, the profit earned on um, and on um, the price the retail price user retail price S, and then we're going to concatenate that with the company profit. Okay. And we need to call system. Oops. System dot exit and passing zero to terminate the thread that was caused by the geoption pane we need to terminate it otherwise it'll keep running that th the thread will keep running and we use system.exit and pass in zero and zero is just an indication that the program runs successfully it can be received outside the program and you know be tested on to see whether it's a zero and if it's a zero it means that it it um the program runs successfully if the program manages to get to this line it's going to return a zero and if you're able to re return if you're able to receive a zero it's an indication that the program runs successfully okay so let's compile this and I'll create a new a folder for this one and circuit circuit board profits I believe yeah And I'll save the files here. And it compiled well, no problems. Okay, so I'll run it. And it's loading up the job pin. Okay, so please enter the retail price. I'm going to put in $60. The profit end on 60.0 is 24.0, 40% of, of that. Um, okay, so let me just make it look a bit, a bit. You could do this too. So profit end on dollars is dollars okay compile it so I'm going to put a hundred dollars the profit end on a hundred dollars is forty dollars forty percent off the retail price okay so that's how to use the geoption pane you can also use a scanner to do it but you can go through some of my other videos to learn how to use a scanner and you can do it 
pretty much the same way. Okay, so I hope you, you, you got it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please post them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks again. And I'll see you uh, in the next program. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care.